Step five is all about ventilation. And we've got two choices here generally. We can have a hole in the wall ventilation or treacle vents in the window, or in this case, we're going for a mechanical ventilation system because we've sealed up the building so well. So we've got a mechanical ventilation with heat, with heat recovery, which we'll talk about later. And we're in a great place here now. We're actually in the kitchen of this house. And the register above me here is the extract from the kitchen. So this uh, register here is going to take out all of the wet, humid, smelly air from the kitchen and send it back to the heat recovery unit. And then over here, looking upstairs, we're supplying fresh air to all the living rooms, the bedrooms. And in this case, we're looking at uh, a supply point to an upstairs bedroom. So we've got extract from wet rooms. We've got supply to living rooms. And this ventilation system is on all day, every day. And it goes back to a manifold, which we'll have a look at now. So we've got a network of ducts running around the house, which will be completely invisible, one for supply zones, one for extract zones. And they all come back eventually to these two manifold boxes here. And these manifold boxes connect in to the centralized ventilation system, which we'll have a look at in a completed house right now. We're very lucky, actually, to see this wonderful piece of equipment here. We've taken the cover off it so you can see it all. It's really what we call a magic box. It's got all the technology that a high-performance home needs. It's got the hot water tank down at the bottom. This green thing here is the heat exchanger, which I'll explain in a moment. And this here, this coil here, is, is your heating coil. So this one piece of equipment replaces a lot of other pieces of equipment that we normally have in our homes. This does your ventilation. It does your heating and it does your hot water, all in one plug and play solution. So it's really a game changer in high performance homes. The very core of this machine is this green unit here. This is called an air to air heat exchanger. And basically, what happens is you've got the cold air coming in from outside, which would be uncomfortable, and you've got the exhaust air coming from the bathrooms and the kitchen. And the heat in the exhaust air is exchanged to the cold air path coming in. We don't get any mixing of the air paths, so there's no sick building syndrome, but what you do is you get pretty much a free tempering of the fresh air before it comes into the house. Here we've progressed along a bit now. We're in a kitchen which is practically finished. This is the extract register here now. You can't see the ducts anymore, of course, so the, to the homeowner, it just looks like a normal kitchen. And just a small point, we have the extract here now, which is going to be over the cooking surface. And here we don't connect this to the ventilation equipment because we don't want oils and fats in the ducts. Um, so in this case, we just have a recirculating hood which takes away all the smells from the kitchen. We talked about extract from the kitchen. It's also very important that we supply fresh air to the living rooms. In this case, we're in the dining room here. And this is the supply register. So this is supplying fresh air. And it's actually on right now. And you can barely feel it. It's a trickle. You certainly can't hear it. And this is supplying fresh air which has been filtered and which has been tempered. So it's keeping the humidity at a really nice level and also keeping the air fresh and turning over so we've got a low carbon dioxide level. So it's, this is fantastic now. We have a whole balanced ventilation system between extract and supply. This is what the finished product is like. This is the utility room all finished now. And here we have the ventilation equipment which has your hot water tank and the heat exchanger here. And the homeowner has nothing to do except to change the filters. And to do that, you just reach up here, pull out the filter like this. And you can see, actually, it's already a little bit dirty. You change that out and pop it back in. It takes about two minutes. It's as easy as putting something in the microwave. And that's all the homeowner has to do. In terms of controls in this house, this is it, guys. Couldn't be simpler. It's like a smartphone interface. It's a very visual display. What's the indoor temperature? What's the outdoor temperature? And so forth. And really. There's very little for the homeowner to do here in these kind of houses. All you have to do is live here. Now remember, most of the heat that we need for these houses is provided through the ventilation air. But just as a backup, we have two radiators. That's all. Very small and very compact. To be honest with you, my prediction is they're going to be bored silly because we'll never need them. Because we only need two radiators, we actually don't have one here in the bedroom. This is a supply register here. It's given us loads of fresh air for this bedroom, but it's also providing the heat that we need. So we've less clutter, more space. I have to show you this space here. This would normally be the hot press, but if you remember,